If we have more than one subnet that our VPN server needs to access on our internal LAN, for example, I've got like 192.168.7, I might also have another subnet like 192.168.8, then we're ne gonna need to add static routes on our VPN server. This is because our default gateway is on this external NIC. So basically anything that's not in this 192.168.6 subnet, it's gonna send out its default gateway, which is sending it out to the internet. So let's go into routing and remote access here and highlight static routes under IP version four. Right click, click on new static route. This is gonna be for our internal NIC. And in my case, it's gonna be for the 192.168.7.0 subnet. Here's the subnet mask for that subnet. And the gateway, is going to be 192.168.6.254. So this is the default gateway for the internal NICS uh, subnet. So let's go ahead and click OK. And if I have any other static routes, for example, uh, if I've got 192.168.8.0, another subnet on my internal subnet, or excuse me, on my internal network. And now, this particular machine knows how to find these subnets. This is a little bit different than the routes that we configured in DHCP for split tunneling. Those routes were so that the client knows to send certain traffic destined, let's say for these subnets, through the VPN. So these routes here are so that this VPN server, this router, knows where these subnets are at and knows to send any traffic destined for these subnets to through the internal NIC to the default gateway on the internal NIC, basically. So if you have subnets that you're having difficulty accessing on your internal LAN, there's a good chance that we need to add some static routes. Please see part four of this YouTube playlist in order to see how to configure split tunneling on the client side and how to test it out. If you'd like to learn more, please go to itdvds.com, including how to deploy VPN connections using PowerShell, Group Policy, Connection Manager Administration Kit, and System Center Configuration Manager so that we can configure split tunneling on the client side in an automated fashion.